Today we are doing an unboxing of a new oracle deck that I just got. This is Oracle of the Fairies. I have finally fully gotten into oracle decks. I am very excited to check this out. I haven't even taken the shrink wrap off of it yet, so you're getting my first look. So let's get started. As a note, I'm doing deck unboxings, a little different format going forward. So I actually got this mid-January. You are seeing this a few weeks later because I decided to do the unboxing and looking at the cards and then sit on it for a bit, come back and record my initial thoughts of working with the deck, um, thoughts on the cards themselves, working with the cards, shuffling the car card weight and everything. I decided to do all that in one video so that you get my true um, overall opinions of this. So this is first part looking at the cards, first look at them, and second part my impressions after a few weeks. So. Let's get started. A little different video today. Um, Ginny, as I was setting up the desk, decided that she really wanted to be um, part of this video. Apparently she really likes fairies. I'm just learning this about her today. You know, she's 14 years old and I'm just learning this, but she really likes fairies apparently. Look at this. So here we go, I guess. So this is Oracle of the Fairies. It's got 44 cards in it. And the back says, Fairies are magical beings who are guardians of the planet. They are the ultimate spiritual environmentalists. They wish for everyone to tune into their ancient wisdom. The 44 cards in this deck will guide you to connect with the fairy world to receive inspiration for your everyday life. Each reading will reveal positive and practical fairy insight, which is directly related to your own energy. Come play with the fairies. She is super interested in this. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's take a look, Jenny. I know you're impatient. So we've got this book, which we'll do a quick look at afterwards, and these cards. So the cards have this beautiful back with these keys, and I love them. Um, they really match the the book cover, so no surprise there. So let's take a look at them. Ready, Jenny? This is where this is where we this is where we start paying attention. Yeah. Abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In fairyland and human land, there's enough abundance for everyone. Nice. I love it. Ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone, and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic existence. Believe in magic. Oh, I love the look of this already. Already. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the northern lights, of course is the fairy of the northern lights, says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. I love that. You're a part of nature, so you're magical too. I love that. Celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. Judy is just so happy. <gasps> this is so beautiful. Come together. Fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. Divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. Fairy spotting. Such a pretty card. It's time to go fairy spotting. It's said that seeing is believing, but in fact the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. Find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest, and playtime, and you'll have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Flourish. 
The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or, or those of others. Friendship. I love the purple card so much, but you know, that's my aesthetic. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. Go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful peace of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. Healing. I wish I could have a rainbow between my hands all the time. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Hidden Depths. Something hidden is about to come to light. Perhaps a secret memory, a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. You hear that, Ginny? When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Hope. Hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Inner child. Jenny, you need your inner child? The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. Silly and fun. I think that's including Ginny in this video. Inspiration. Oh, I love it. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. Journey. Oh, I love the rabbit. It's, to t it's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. Oh, I can't wait to travel again. Right, Jenny? Life energy. Look at the beautiful, beautiful card. The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. So, uh, a shadow work card, huh? Light. The Fairy Queen of Light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. <gasps> She's just like sleeping on the cards now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disturb you every time I pull a card. Lost in a book. I love this. I love me, me. Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. You know, Ginny possibly being one of the fair folk would explain a lot about her, to be honest. Lost and found. What was once lost is about to be found, thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. Ooh. Magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others, too. Magical gateway. Oh, I, I love this card so much. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. I love it. I love it. I love it. Manifestation. Ooh, the, all the yellow. I love it. Look at her socks. Her tights. Be very honest and clear about what you s wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper. Manifesti manifestation step one. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and health healthily. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. 
moon energy. Oh my god, this might be the most beautiful card in the deck. Um, although that's hard to say. There's so many of them are so pure, so pretty. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Motivation. When spring approaches, the, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say, get busy and do it. Music. Listen carefully, for they, there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and charm fairies to your door. Nature's signs. The badgers. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and minds. New beginnings. Ooh, look at the pretty card. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Precious time. Ooh. Quite a different look for a fairy and I'm digging it. The fairy of time wants you to experience every moment fully and to make the most of your precious time. Be mindful not to waste others' time either. Protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. <gasps> protection. Look at, look at the rainbow. Protection. Yes. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Purity. So, um, I was looking for unicorn oracle decks and um, this came up. This card and it was like, you know what? Sold it on me. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart, and within it, you will find the answer to your question. Can this be me? Can I just be in cherry blossoms with a unicorn and a pretty dress? Shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within, and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. Solitude. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times. Stargazing, yes, I love it. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more f freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. Unfortunately for me, I don't live anywhere where I can see like any stars whatsoever. Any. So, I'll just have to gaze at the stars in Animal Crossing, I suppose. Temptation. Is this the only, um, male-bodied, um, fairy in the deck? Are you in denial about an unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty? This fairy says you have to, the power to overcome temptation. Whatever its guise. Transformation. Oh, she's beautiful! 
This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Tree wisdom. Oh, I love it. I love it. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Wait for winter. We're in winter, so what do I get? What do I do if I wait if I'm in winter and we get this? During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes, as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. There's a lot of repeating of highest good of all. Hmm. Wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Hmm. I like the little owl. Wish wisely. This is the last card. And look. So beautiful. Um... Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire. Take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. These cards are all gorgeous. I don't know. I don't know what's my favorite, but the ga stargazing one um, is definitely like definitely my aesthetic. And what? Oh, the moon energy. The moon energy has rainbows. Come on, come on. Um, but like, I love the the nature signs. Um, Protection, come on, protection, <laughs> unicorn, <sighs> there's so many good ones. Celebration, even. I, this one, like, really gives me, like, Arwen vibes. <laughs> I know, she's an elf, not a fairy, but, but this card itself really gives me Arwen vibes. Um, so, so many. Oh, I like the friendship one, too. They're so nice. Um, I just, oh, the hope, oh. I love it. Okay, so so this is Oracle of the Fairies. So let's take a quick look at the guidebook. Forming a bond with your deck. Yeah, I'll have to do that. Setting the scene, creating a space filled with love. Oracle of the Fairies is comprised of 44 cards that will assist you on your journey to connect with the fairies and help you to tune into their ancient wisdom. It's impossible to make a mistake when working with this deck. The message each card brings depends on what you need to hear at that precise moment. Oracle of the Fairies will convey each message in a clear way, but still leave room for your own personal personal interpretation, making the cards easy to work with and to understand whatever your level of expertise in card reading. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned fairy path practitioner, the beauty and fun of Fairyland is that there are no rules. This gives an extra feeling of fun and freedom when working with the cards. Be prepared to think outside the box and get ready to explore the fluid and organic realms of the fairy world, where dreams are made and anything is possible. This deck was born from fairy magic and fairy wisdom. Each time you work with the cards, more of this gentle magic will be released for the highest good of all beings, including the fairies. I have not actually started like even thinking about or, well, I'd like to eventually work with fairies, but I haven't really started, like, even looking into it. So, um, so this will be a good intro to that, probably. So, interpretations with cards. Okay, let's see. Let's look at stargazing. This card says the answer you seek is in the stars. This can literally mean looking up into the night sky and stargazing. Stargazing is like a form of divination. Allow your gaze to drift around the sky and see what flows into your mind. Fairies can be very active when the stars begin to appear and shine upon their surroundings. This also applies to you, except the stars are illuminating your current situation so that a solution can be more easily seen. Stargazing can bring about a deep sense of peace and can also help you to put things into perspective. Look how tiny the stars appear to be, yet this is only an illusion. Conversely, perhaps something in your life appears to be bigger than, than it is in reality? Do you have an interest in astronomy? If not, this card may be saying that it's time to explore this area. The insight you seek may also be found in astrology. This may be in a daily horoscope, or it could be the perfect time to have your birth chart created by a professional so you can see the energy currents at play in your life. 
This doesn't mean you have to change your life, but being aware of certain astrological patterns can be helpful as you move forward. I agree with that. Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support you, encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So this is the Oracle of the Fairies. I'm excited to work with this. Um, so I will catch you in a few weeks after I've um, shuffled and done some spreads. I, I use them like in conjunction with my uh, tarot cards. So I'll get back to you after a few weeks of pulling cards with them and um, check in then with my thoughts. Maybe Ginny will join us then too. Hey everyone, it's been a few weeks. Actually, it's been about a month since I got this deck. And I've been working with it a lot in the last few weeks. And I'm back to tell you my impressions of working with this deck. Uh, first off, I love it. I love this deck. It's kind of been my go-to uh, for Oracle decks in the last few weeks. I know I'm going to use Monology deck a lot more like in the future because I love that deck, but this has been my go-to for the last few weeks. I love it. I love it so much. Um, it's actually funny because, so I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons. We have a streamed campaign over on Twitch, information down below. Um, but I actually play a fairy and we just revealed that I am a fairy. I'd been passed off as an elf up until this point. And one of my other players is also a fairy, and these cards are us. This is her, she's a bard, and this is me, I'm a druid. And uh, these are just like, these are exactly our characters, and it's great. But, but aside from that, I've just really loved this deck. So my impressions from working with it is that it's a very good deck for next steps. I thought it was going to be more focused on like your inner you. So my impressions, my initial impressions were like completely wrong, completely wrong. But it's more like next steps. Okay, you read your tarot cards. What should you do next kind of thing? And I have been just really enjoying having that guidance. So like there's a wait card. Wait for winter. Wait for things to slow down. Wait for um, a time of things ending. There's a journey card. Go on a journey. Take a journey. Explore new things. Ask for help. It's fine to ask for help, right? Sometimes you need it. So I've really, really enjoyed this deck. Um, I, I, am loving it. Like, I honestly... I've gotten three decks recently. Um, the other two will be coming up in videos next week and the week after, if it all goes to plan. And while I like those decks a lot, this honestly has been my go-to, and I really, really recommend it. I'm not one who's worked with the fairies before. It's always been something I've been interested in. This is maybe a good starting point for me, but I haven't worked with the fairies before, even though it's been an interest of mine. I just haven't taken that step. And these cards, I think, are going to guide me towards the next step. So if you're interested in working with the fairies or you just want like a good deck that tells you the next step that you should go for, I really recommend these. I really do. I think they're wonderful and they're so pretty. Honestly, they shuffle really well. They're they're bigger. They're on the big side for cards. Not really for oracle cards. They're kind of like at least what I perceive to be the standard size for oracle cards, but they're bigger than a lot of tarot cards. Um, but they shuffle really well. They're really bendy. Honestly, my only complaint with this deck, and it is a very personal complaint because I do these videos, is that they're glossy. That's the only complaint I have because it reflects like the ring light, like my glasses too. It reflects the ring light and getting the pictures of them is really hard with the proper lighting without getting that reflected. 
That's my only complaint. I try to go more for matte decks because of that, but if you don't care about that, this will be like a perfect deck, honestly. So, I still use it a ton despite that, and I work with it, right? Um, but that is literally my only complaint. Th the cards are gorgeous, I love them, and they have already helped me like a ton. So, that's my final thoughts on this deck, and I will catch you next week with another deck that I've got at the same time that I've been working with as well. All my information is down below. You can get some affiliate links for this deck if you are interested in purchasing this deck and helping me out with this channel. As I mentioned in my video last week, I have stopped streaming on Twitch. I'm taking an indefinite hiatus to work on YouTube content, so there will be more videos coming out on a regular basis. And unfortunately, that means that I can't count on my Twitch revenue to help pay my bills and put into my moving fund. So I have a Patreon down below if you would like to support that, if you like what I do here. It's not an obligation, but that is linked down below if you would like to help out with that. Either way, I will see you next week for another video. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Toe beans!